This is a video review of the HDX Mini Palm Nailer. It's on sale at Home Depot this week, so I decided to pick one up for $15. Uh, it's about the, as cheap as you're going to get an ale, an ale nailer, and I'll show you some of its strengths and limitations right now. Um, as you can see, I've got a board set out here, and I already have my nailer set up with my air compressor. Um, I'll point out a couple things about it before I start. One, if you do pick it up, make sure you pick up some air tool oil. I use Husky. Brand doesn't really matter too much to me. I've just had good luck, and this is a pretty good price at Home Depot. Uh, let me show you real quick how this works, and uh, I'll show you some of its limitations. Let me start in right now with this one. Okay, so I just drove that nail in. You see I kind of got a bad angle on it, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm hammering nails into these scrap boards right now. So that nail I just drove in was a two and a half inch nail with a relatively small head. And as you could see, it fit right in there very nicely, lots of room. Uh, but I do have this nail over here, and this nail is a four inch nail, which it should be able to drive. But in fact, this nail's head does not fit into the nailer. So I wouldn't be able to drive this. Just something to be aware of if you're doing deck work or uh, really heavy duty framing where you use a lot of three and a half inch nails, some of them are going to have larger heads and you're not going to be able to drive them. So that's probably the one limitation I would say. Other than that, as long as you're patient, this nailer does a really nice job. I'm going to flip this and put this through this side. And I'll show you one more time the nailer at work. So as you can see, you, uh, you can overdrive the nail just a little bit, but you can pretty much with any, any framer, especially with an air framer. Uh, I have some nails that you already driven. Let me hit them a couple more times. So you can see, you can, you can damage the wood if you're not careful. So this really is more for rough applications uh, or, you know, for driving the nail most of the way in and just taking your finishing hammer and knocking it in. Anyway, overall, it's a really nice tool. Very easy to set up. Just attach it to your air, just like that, and you're done. Uh, it's great for small applications, uh, you know, doing things in the garage. Um, I myself have uh, just put some cantilever shelves in my garage. It would have been really nice if I had this. Took a lot of hammer strokes and a lot of ringing in my ears. One of the nice things is this is actually pretty quiet for driving nails, much quieter than using a hammer. I am using ear protection and eye protection, of course, but that's a must with all compressor-driven compressor tools. Make sure you're careful with it. That's all for now. It's a really nice tool. For $15, it's an awesome deal on, a, on any kind of nailer. I recommend you pick one up. It's usually $25. And even at that, it's a pretty, pretty nice price. The uh, comparable ones cost about $65. Uh, it does have some limitations in terms of the size, but it can drive up to a 4-inch nail. So that's probably the one thing I would note. If you're going to drive large-headed nails, uh, make sure you uh, check them out with this opening. Anyway, that's all. I uh, hope you enjoyed the view. Thank you.